Mike Wilderness, and welcome back to the only Man vs. Wilderness show on YouTube! I'm Dalton Caesar, and today I'm here to help you survive in the Arctic region of Subarctic Greenland. Look at the pristine condition of the, of the surrounding areas, of the trees. Look at the trees and the leaves sparkling up above. Do you see them sparkling? Can you see the sparkles? Sun, no sun, sun, no sun. Sparkles. Now, the most important thing about surviving in this subarctic zone is dressing properly. So you can see I have my jacket on. See, I got my gloves on like this and beneath my jacket today, I've got my hood on, okay? But, you know, you wanna stay limber, stay limber, so dress slightly below. Cause you wanna stay as limber as possible in the subarctic zone. So you can bounce around and escape the demons that chase you. Now let's go survive in the subarctic zone. Ah, now, as I've said before, the most or the second most important thing when you're in the wilderness is finding something to bloody eat. And a lot of people don't know this, but uh, here in Greenland, it is the apples breeding time. So you can see this pristine apple is in pristine condition for my pleasurable eating. <sighs> the apple has no control over what's happening right now. So I'm going to kill it, <coughs> spit its head out, and now it's good to eat. Mm. Straight off the tree. Now just get a shot of this wonderful apple tree. So if you're in the woods and you're looking for something to eat in Greenland, if you see this tree, you know it's an apple tree. And apples grow all year round, especially in the coldest of temperatures. Ah. Make sure you get all the protein! All the protein! That you can! Because mm. apples contain a massive amount of protein! Oh. Now, after you've gotten yourself some delicious Greenland apples, haha, <laughs> yes! You've got to warm yourself up, child. And there's only one method that works in sub-Saharan Greenland because the temperatures are so cold. <laughs> it's the ancient Zulu tactic of tree arousal. So you just find a good looking tree like this baby right here and you just arouse the tree. And it'll warm you right up, I swear to God. Hey tree, how you doing? That's a big nice trunk you got there, little tree. Now you just shut your mouth and let me do all the talking. Stand there and take it, tree. Oh, see? I am a hundred times warmer already. Good to go. On to the next one. Survivor! Now, sometimes a teeny weeny little beanie apple won't do it for you. Oh no, it didn't do it for me. That's why I packed a nice, delicious, healthy snack. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you go to the store and you purchase a nice thing of shampoo, such as this, Deliciously acts excite. It gets me excited every time you get a nice picture of that, eh? And you just, a lot of people don't know this, but this fuck, this shit's edible! Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get it down. Just let me try again. You gotta try! You gotta try to keep it down, or else it's not gonna. Oh, it's not gonna help you survive if you don't keep it down. One last attempt. Now that's what I call a damn good drink, mate. Is it? Is it going? Yes, it's go. Okay. Now. After you've gotten some protein from some delicious Greenland apples and you've sexually fantasized about delicious trees and warmed yourself up and you've drank in some of that Axe shampoo body wash bullshit. Sometimes that's not enough, especially for a big boy like me. You always gotta be on the lookout for some more food. But today, the gods are upon us. They've blessed us with some delicious heaping helpings of human shit. 
Look, get a close-up of this human feces. This is quite a find we have here. It's not every day that you find a nice pile of doo-doo like this, littered with corn, and looks like maybe some bacon in there too, and it seems to be almost frozen. But you gotta take off the gloves first to properly eat this one. You don't want to screw it up or else you won't get the protein you need to survive. Because we all know that PROTEIN is the most important thing to you. So you, sometimes you've got to test it out first. So just get down on your knees in the ice cold and give it a good lick. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. I can taste the protein already. Okay, so once you've tested it and you've come to the conclusion that it's good to eat, you can pick it up, just get a log, like this log right here. Get all of the grass out that you don't want, and you just pop it right in. <coughs> oh, it's, it's so, oh, <coughs> oh. <coughs> it's so good. It's, believe me, it tastes better than it looks. But if you can't bear to get it down for some reason, you get another log, and you go the old method. And that's how you do that, bloody mate. Now, before night falls, one of the most important things you need to do is build a shelter. And you can do that with your everyday sticks, stones, brushes, leaves, pelts, whatever you've got. And so after six hours of work, I have completed this masterpiece, which I will be sleeping in tonight. As you can see, I have extravagantly collected sticks and set them up in a TP platform. This is what that's known as a TP platform. TP, okay? And I shall be sleeping right here. Got a couple of leaves from my bed, pillow right there, a nice stick to go right up my butthole when I'm sleeping. And let me just place the last piece. And it's finished right there, yeah. Okay, and one thing you don't want to worry about, you don't need to worry about making a fire, okay? As long as you've got one of these. If you have one of these, it'll keep you warm all night. You don't need to gather any more sticks than you need for coverage, and you just, boom. Warmth for the night. Warmth for the night, right there. That'll keep you warm, and you don't need any fire other than this, and you're good to go. Um, one other thing you need to do also before you go to sleep is make sure you collect a jar of your own piss. Um, because just in case during the night you need to get a little drink, you don't want to go too far, find a river like that, who wants to do that? As long as you have a nice bottle of urine. Then you're good to go. Thank you for watching. Come back next time. I'm going to bed. My name's Dalton Caesar. I'll see you next time.